So without further ado, I'll be moving in on how we can interact and get the airdrop. So so let me waste time. So first, we have to go to. I'll be using this thread, so I'll be going to a light dot zk sync, which is the site. So let's visit light dot zk sync and make sure you funded your uh, metamask with at least thirty eight or Ethereum. So wait for the site to load, and yeah, we are here now. So we have to connect our wallets. So click on Ethereum wallets, MetaMask. Wait for the pop-up to come out. Then um, we connect. So once that's done, we click on top up. Once you click on top up, you scroll down, then click on ZK sync over here. Once you click on ZK sync over here, select the token it. Let's use um, 0 0.009 or 0 0.006. Then let's top up, top it up. Once you top it up, you sign the transaction. So basically, we are just transacting so that our wallets can at least be included in the snapshots. So just transact, connect wallet, click and click and click, and you get your drop. Uh, or if you are lucky, you get your drop. So yeah. Waiting for the transaction to be committed. Okay. And that's it. Okay. So once that's done, the next thing we can do is let's mint our NFT. So click on NFTs over here, then click on mint NFT. Then you authorize sign activation. Once you've topped up, this should work. So make sure you top up first before you go to this mint an NFT um, panel. Then you sign. Sign again. If you are using a, um, an Android phone, you can use the Mrs. browser or the Kiwi browser or the Yandex browser. So you can use that. So you can just Google MetaMask extension. Then once you Google MetaMask extension, download the extension on Android. Then from your Android, you locate all these sites and start interacting. So to mint NFT, you need to sign up an account on pinata.cloud. So go to pinata.cloud, then sign up or click on start building to sign up. But there's an account here already. So let's look for the thread. The thread over here said we've done all this task. I'm still going to get to this task, but let's mint an NFT first. Okay. Click add files. Where is add files? Set click add files. What do you say next? Select file. Choose a picture you want to use. Name your NFT and upload. Okay. File. Select the file. So you can just choose this image and so any image so upload uploaded successfully and um, where can we see the image yeah so if you copy the CID so I think this is the CID over here I'll be copying the CID yeah Copy the CID and uh, okay, yeah, that should be it. So, 
let's paste the CID over here. Then mint NFT proceed to mint. Sign. Done. So you can do this a couple of times just to get a lot of transactions on your wallet. And um, next thing to do is let's go to home. Let's click on swap. It will take, take us to zigzag trade.zigzag.exchange. Then let's connect our wallets. So all what we are doing is just to get enough transactions on this wallet to interact with a lot of sites so we can accumulate a lot of transactions so we'll um, have a higher chance of getting the airdrop. So you have to do as much transaction as possible. And so next, connect. It's MetaMask, okay. Okay, so it's connected. So let's choose a pair. I'm going to be choosing the. I'll be looking for the. Let's choose a pair. Okay. Let's see if it's USDT. Let's see. Mm, it's not working. 0.0. .0. I can't seem to buy it. Does it sell? Okay, yeah. So let's sell it. Yeah, I have it. So I'll be selling it to USDC. Sell it. Sell that is pending. Sign. So if you scroll down, you should be able to see your order here. So order place. You can also do this as much as possible. Just to gain a lot of transaction. You can also go here and bridge. So that was successful. You can go here and bridge, transfer from internet to ZK Sync or whatever. Or you can transfer from ZK Sync to Mainnet back or Mainnet to ZK Sync. So we have 0 0.006. So let's use 0 0.002 and let's just bridge using this two, then transfer to ZK Sync. Then you can also transfer from ZK Sync back to Ethereum Mainnet. So every transaction counts. And uh, confirm. It gives up to three, four dollar worth of gas fees. So the gas fees are just the issue. And um, once that's done, um, so you can do this a couple of times if you have enough gas. And um, the next thing I should be doing is um, okay. I want to check the the scan ZK scan. So I'll be copying my wallet address copied i'll be going to zk scan um, so you can do all this on your android but it's going to be very very slow so you just have to know how to set up your browsers your missus browser or you can use yandex or you can use kiwi browser so this is a committed nonce three the verified nonce is still um, nothing so the more this nonce the more this verified nonce the higher your um, like this verified nonce who is a criteria for you to get the airdrop so always notice this verified nonce 
So just get your nuns up. If you have up to 30 nuns or 40 nuns, then you should know that you actually get the airdrop because this is the nuns they, are, they will be calculating, which is the transaction. So committed nuns is three. I think we've made up to three transactions, but it hasn't been verified yet. So keep on doing the transactions. And when one, once they verify it, then you should know that your airdrop is assured. So I think that should be all. We've interacted with everything. One last site that we can interact to is uh, Orbiter Finance. Yeah, one, one last site we can interact to is Orbiter Finance. So also interact with Orbiter Finance and uh, swap bridge from one to another and you should be good to go. So for Android users, you can either use your Yandex browser, your Kiwi browser or your um, Mrs. Browser. So I, there's not much to do here, anyways. But I'll just interact, anyways. So from Ethereum to ZK Lights 0.002. Four. See, still not working. Okay, I think there's not enough, there's not much balance. But, anyways, you can top up your MetaMask and also interact with this. So, that would be all. So, thank you all for watching and make sure you subscribe.